Right, we're doing a quick review today of the Tower Air Fryer, 9 litre uh, twin drawer as you can see, version. It's basically um, a rip off of the Ninja, very similar, operates almost identically but it is a little bit confusing as to how to operate so I'll show you that. Um, and it's slightly uh, less capacity in that it's only got 9 litres instead of 9.5 but that's obviously fairly minor. So um, in terms of build quality, it seems pretty good. Um, these drawers you get at the bottom, as you'll see there, you get these come out. As you, you normally leave that in for frying, as it gets the air underneath the food. So they seem fairly robust. I'm not sure if you could put them in the dishwasher. Um, I've just been hand washing them because they're non-stick and very easy to wash. So the air fryers themselves are, are a fairly simple thing. I'll try and show you inside. Um, see up there so very dark in there I think you can see okay um, you'll see all it is is it's a heating element and behind the heating element is just a fan so all, all these things are is really a convection oven or a fan oven but because it blasts heat um, directly onto the food in such a small space they're cheaper to run than an oven and also because the heat circulates and it's blasted straight onto the food you get this comes from a barbecue knowledge you get something called the Maillard reaction which is where the outside of the food gives that sort of fried burnt taste in terms of the rest of the machine that's that's it really there's there's not much more to it I would point out that hot air the hot air that's, that's, that's circulating round absolutely blasts out of some vents at the back here. Now I've got glass uh, splash backs and where this is in my utility room this one isn't heat treated like it is behind the cooker so I didn't realise at first it was blasting air out also into the plug socket so um, all I'd suggest is you pull it off the wall to give it plenty of room when in use. Now in terms of operation it is fairly simple but I can see why a lot of people have become confused with how to operate this because the instructions are frankly absolutely appalling. Um, they don't tell you any sort of how to do any manual adjustment. So it's pretty simple really. So you switch it on with this button here. So that's red all the time. And it comes on. And then you control each drawer first of all the first thing you've ever got to do before you control this is to press one or two depending on which drawer you want to use so um, for example if we press one and this is the confusing bit you've then got to press one of these um, presets for different types of cooking now there's no rocket science behind this all this does is apply a heat temperature it goes up to 200 degrees centigrade I tend to cook most things at that sometimes at 180 like a boiled egg which I'll show you on another video so check that out but um, all these do is give you a different time and temperature preset there's nothing else to them so for example fries I think is 200 for 18 minutes uh, chicken will probably be 180 for 20 minutes or something um, that's all it does but the and this one is meant to be preheat so it's just nothing really it's just heating it um, so you may want to adjust these times and this is where it becomes a bit complicated so what you do to adjust the time is you always have to press one of these presets now it doesn't matter which one you press to be frank so let's press just the chips one so you'll see it's saying 200 degrees at 18 minutes see our one's flashing there now if I want to change the temperature temperatures on this side press one again it stopped flashing uh, and you can just up and down the temperature if I want to change the time times on this side so that's we've reset it to say 190 for 14 minutes so that's what you've got to do whenever you want to do anything manually it doesn't matter which one of these you press although I have found that one good for chips but then when you want it to start make sure your one's flashing that's the one we want to control start heats up very quickly and this obviously flashes tells you what 
this one's on and it counts down so fairly quiet surprisingly quiet I suppose it's um it's, it's good now I will pause it because obviously you'll be able to hear the fan and I want to stop that just where I talk so to pause it you just press the play pause button now imagine you want this one going as well so imagine that one's still going or you've paused it for whatever reason or you've, you're just about to start it you want that on 190 14 but we want this, this on 200 for 20 so all you do is press 2 and just repeat the process 200 let's increase the time to 20, se uh, 20 minutes there you go I want that one to start make sure that's flashing press play that one's now going that one to go oh let's pause it actually so they're both set actually it's interesting because they're both set off so they're now both going so that's it um, now if I want to pause just one you can just loop it out and it automatically stops so you can just do that and it will rest there uh, alternatively and it automatically starts again when you push it in alternatively if you press 2 pause it 2 stopped one's still going stop one as well pause it there we go now the other thing is and I think I'm going to be able to show you this correctly imagine we've got these two on different temperatures um, I might have to do this again and I, I am learning with this so let's start again so imagine you want two different temperatures and these to finish at the same time so one uh, imagine we're going to do that one on chips say or we won't even alter it um, and two imagine we'll do that on the pizza setting again we won't alter it just for simplicity then we press smart finish and start and what will happen is you'll see this one's going to take 20 minutes and that one 18 so this one will in this case go first it'll be that one if that one was longer and when that one gets down by two minutes this side will then switch on so they both finish at exactly the same time so that's dead easy as well and the final thing we've got let's uh, just turn it off to reset it is this thing called match cook so all you have to do is say so set it at 200 it automatically does the other side without you having to set both of them go both going so yeah I'm really pleased with it. the food that's come out of it has been really good it's not for everything but really if you're going to use it for things like um, I don't know chicken nuggets chips out of the freezer uh, it's brilliant for boiled eggs which I'll do on another video so check out my other video a quick boiled egg video if you come in and you want to heat something up out of the freezer fairly quickly normally you've got to put the fan oven on it's got to it takes probably 10 a good 10 minutes to warm up to 200 degrees you don't have to bother with that this will cook say chicken nuggets in 18 minutes build quality seems pretty good uh, instructions are terrible you do get a three-year guarantee with this I suppose I'd give it mm, 8, 9 out of 10. Um, probably the Ninja's a bit better, I suspect, but I don't know that because I've not used it. It seems a bit easier to use, perhaps a bit better built, but this is a, a slightly cheaper as well. Tower have recently put up the price. I, I bought this off Tower for two, uh, £199. You could pick these things up and maybe you still can if you're lucky from places like Argos. They were selling them at 150 which actually is a real bargain and then I think at 150 it's 10 out of 10 this machine. So yeah, really good, uh, no complaints and three year guarantee and hopefully we'll get many years of uh, use out of it.